Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make the rapid fire macro for Corsair uh, mouses and keyboards. So the first thing uh, you're going to do for this is uh, go ahead and click the link in the description to download uh, the software that's used for Corsair mice and keyboards. It's called IQ. So once you click the link in the description, it should take you to this page uh, and then just download the latest version. It should be up, up here on top. Uh, click this button right here and then this step you can just skip. So once this is done downloading, you can just click on it and just install uh, normally. You don't need to do anything special for it. So once IQ is installed, you can go ahead and open it and it will take you to this screen. Right here, you'll see all your Corsair devices that are connected right now to your computer. So go ahead and go to your mouse or your keyboard, wherever you wanna um, assign the macro to. So click here and then you're gonna go to actions. So right now, as you can see, I already have the macro made. Um, if you already know how to make it, you can just copy this, but I'll show you how to make it from scratch. So uh, over here on actions, you're going to press this plus button and it will create a new macro. You can uh, rename this, double click it and rename this to rapid fire two, for example. And uh, after that, you're going to come over here to this section, uh, the macro section, uh, click on record and then click once and then stop recording. So if, um, this doesn't happen for you, make sure these three settings are checked over here. So make sure uh, all three of these are checked. Uh, I know when I installed IQ, this was not checked. So make sure you check mouse clicks and then do that. So after you're uh, done recording the macro, what you're gonna do is uh, delete these last four lines. So just click on it, press delete key on your keyboard, delete this, delete this, and delete this. All you need is just this first one. Uh, so go ahead and click on the second one, which is the delay, uh, pause execution for, which says 114. It should be a different time for you. Uh, double click on it. And then over here where it says constant delay, change this to, um, five millisecond. So, um, this part right here, um, uh, five millisecond, you have to really, um, understand this. So the lower the number, uh, it means that it'll be fat. It will be clicking faster. So the reason I'm doing five millisecond here is it works best in like most games. Obviously, if you're doing some playing something like cookie clicker, you would want the maximum amount of clicks, then you would put one here. But uh, for some games, if you put one, it, it doesn't work because it's just too fast for the game to uh, read. But if you want to try it, you can go ahead and set it as one and then try it in your game. And if it works, it should be fine. Usually it's not going to matter because games usually have um, like a limit to how fast you can shoot their guns. So even five and one won't matter, but in some cases it might. So you can go ahead and test this out yourself uh, and like play around with the delays. So once you have uh, five set over here, you can go ahead and click yes here and then go to advanced settings. So here we're going to select how the macro is going to be used. So uh, the action trigger just means uh, you have you get these four options. So on press will just mean uh, whenever you press, it will put the macro on. On release will mean whenever you release the button, it will put the macro on. But we're going to use this option uh, called while press because you want to hold the button uh, and shoot fast. I think that makes the most sense. But if you want, there's also a toggle option, which means you just have to hold the button, you have to click the button once and it will just keep playing the macro until you click it again and then it will stop the macro. But for this macro, um, we're gonna use this while press. So click that. And then over here on action repeat, you're gonna select uh, repeat constantly. And in the repeat delay, usually you wanna match this delay with your uh, delay that you put over here. So I would just match this. You don't have to, but it just seems more consistent because this means it's going to press the button, release the button, uh, press the button, wait this time, release the button, and then wait that time again and press the button again. So once you're done doing this, you're uh, basically done with the macro. All you need to do is uh, select the macro over here. So we have the macro selected, which is Rapid Fire 2 that we just created, and then click on the key that you want to assign it to. So uh, let's say I want to assign it to this key. So I'll click on it. Now it's, that macro is assigned to that key. So now you should be good to go. So just to test it really quick uh, before you can get into a game, uh, do go over here and open your file explorer or any other app. And once it's open, go back to where you opened it from and then hold the macro button. So what it should do is it should repeatedly open that window. 
and that means your macro is working. So uh, once you test that, uh, you can go ahead and uh, test it in game because that means your macro is technically working uh, in other places. So now it should work in game. But if it's not, that means your delay might be too fast, depending on what game you're playing. And then come over here. If your delay is too fast, you can try increasing this value and that value. So let's do some tests in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Okay, so to test the macro, uh, just make sure you remember the key that you binded it to and just hold it. And as you can see, uh, it is shooting pretty fast. And by pretty fast, I mean the maximum speed it can shoot with that specific gun. I know there will be some guns uh, where it won't shoot this fast. And that's simply because that gun is just not allowed to shoot fast. So uh, it depends on every single rifle, uh, especially in this game. Uh, in some games, it's a lot faster. Like, for example, uh, in Apex Legends, if you use the Hemlock, uh, it is a lot faster. And uh, just even if it's like not super fast, uh, just using the macro helps you aim better. Because if you if you have to click that fast and aim at the same time, it's really hard to do because uh, clicking really fast uh, makes your hand and mouse movement uh, a little choppy. So you're going to have to like focus on clicking really fast and controlling your mouse, which is hard to do. So with this macro, you can just focus on your aim and then just hold the button um, and shoot fast at the same time. So other than that, if you guys found this video helpful, uh, make sure you leave a like. You can drop any comments for any requests uh, for future videos. And if you want to see more for uh, IQ and Corsair stuff, you should definitely subscribe because I will be making some more macro videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.